Hi and welcome. In this video I want to show you really quickly how to create accessible bookmarks inside of an Adobe PDF document. You can see here I've got a very simple document that has a few headings inside of it. Now if you initially created this document using Microsoft Word and you used heading styles inside of Word, these bookmarks will automatically be created for you. But in this case we created this from a Word document that did not have heading styles in it. So when we look at our bookmarks by going to the view menu, selecting navigation panel and bookmarks, you're going to see that we don't have any bookmarks inside of our document. So here's the simple process for adding them. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this heading right here. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and come to this icon right here. And you're going to see it says new bookmark there. When I click that, a new bookmark is created in the document and it's given the same text as whatever heading you highlighted. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply hit enter because that's what I want to call it and now I have my first bookmark in my document. You can go ahead and make this section smaller or larger also depending upon what you're looking at. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down in this document and I've got a few more headings here. There's another heading in the document, so I'll go ahead and highlight that. And I'm again going to go ahead and click New Bookmark. And you're going to see again the bookmark is created with whatever text I highlighted. If I didn't want all the text to be in the bookmark, I could simply at this point go ahead and delete it or edit it however I want. Or, and I'll go ahead and delete that bookmark, you'll see that really quickly. I just right click on it and select Delete if I had only highlighted a certain portion of this and then hit the new bookmark button you're going to see only that text is included there and you can actually call these whatever you want I could hit backspace at this point and type uh, this is a new heading so something completely different than the text that it actually bookmarks but again most of the time you're going to want the text to be the actual bookmark and I'll go ahead and scroll down just a little bit more and there's my final bookmark I've got a very short document here so I only have three headings and I'll go ahead and click new bookmark and there's the final bookmark that's been created in my document now if you had a longer document with more heading levels let's say we had this main heading level right here but then we also had some subheadings within our document. You can go ahead and make those subheadings simply by highlighting them and dragging over and under the heading you, you want it to be underneath. And you're going to notice if you look in the navigation pane right now as I'm dragging, you'll see that dotted line with the arrow on it. And you're going to see right now it's on the same level as the level one headings. If I want to bump this in, I just drag over a little bit, and you're going to see now how the arrow is now indented in. So if I release at this point, you're going to see that that became a subheading underneath this. And again, to use these bookmarks, you can just simply click on them. And if I want to drag that back out so it's a main level heading, which it should be, I just simply highlight it and drag the icon over until I see that arrow, that dotted line in the arrow at the same level as the level one headings. And now it's now a level one heading. And you can even reorder these. I could go ahead and drag this down so that it's below that. Don't know why you would want to do that, but you can do it. And I'll go ahead and drag that back up. And again, I want to make sure that arrow and dotted line indicate the correct level for the heading. So that's really simply how you create, delete, and change the level of different bookmarks within your document. Also, if after the fact you wanted to edit one of these bookmarks, you could just simply right click on it and you could say rename and that will highlight the text and I can go ahead and type new text in for that bookmark. So that's all there is to creating accessible bookmarks in a PDF document. And again, if you had created this from a Word document, or actually any document that uses heading styles, 
those heading styles will automatically be converted into bookmarks for you.